is Cape Master 14 here, and today I am doing the second episode of Noob's Guide to Minecraft. The first one was done by Glitch, and yeah. um, but I'm doing food today. So, okay, so today um, I'm going to do food, and basically I'm just going to bring you through all the different foods in Minecraft, and a bit of extra, okay, I'm starting to do that, that's good. Okay, um... A little bit of extra information about them. So we're going to start off with one of the most basic foods in Minecraft, which is the apple. And you get the apple by either, like, punching trees, only oak trees, like, punching the leaves, and it might drop. Or cutting down an oak tree, and there's a chance it might drop. It doesn't work with any other tree. So basically, when you eat it, you get two hunger, and that's pretty much it. It's just food. Okay, so the next is bread, and to get bread, you have to grow wheat, and you need three wheat to make bread. And um, when you eat the bread, you get two and a half hunger, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Next is raw pork chops, and you get those, from, or raw pork, something like that. Raw pork chop, yeah. Okay, and you get that from killing such pig, like there and ah oh, dang it I keep dying okay and basically when you eat it it's raining you get one and a half hungry ball filled and yeah so the next is cooked pork chop and you get that just by cooking raw pork chop in a furnace and when you eat that you get full hunger so it's a lot better than raw pork chop next is the golden apple and you get one such golden apple by getting a regular apple and surrounding it in gold ingots. Um, and when you eat it, you get two hunger, and then you also get absorption, which is those two little golden hearts there, and regeneration for a couple seconds. So it's actually really, really good, especially if you're in like PvP or something. Next is the enchanted golden apple, and you get that by getting an apple and surrounding it with gold blocks, so it's very, very hard to make. And but it is completely worth it because when you eat it, you get two hunger, but then you also get absorption, regeneration, resistance, and fire resistance, all for a good amount of time. So it's it's worth it if you can actually manage to get it. It's pretty good. Next is raw fish, and if you manage to get a fishing rod, which actually isn't all that hard, you just get string sticks to put them together, but if you, you have a chance to get a raw fish, and when you eat a raw fish, you get one hunger, and it's actually a pretty abundant source of food if you have a fishing rod. Um, where's, okay, the cooked stuff is down there for some reason. I'll just switch that out. Why is this happening to me? Okay, anyway, um, cooked fish right here is what happens when you cook fish in a furnace and when you eat it you get two and a half hunger so it's pretty much like bread except in some cases it can be easier to get next is raw salmon and you when you fish you also have a chance of getting raw salmon and it and when you eat it you also get one and yeah but then cooked salmon if you eat that, and you just get that in the normal way, you get three. So it's actually better than and cooked fish. Um, next is the mushroom stew, and you get that by placing uh, one such mushroom to each type in with a bowl, and you get mushroom stew. Now, when you eat mushroom stew, you get three hunger, and it's pretty good. So yeah. And next is the clownfish. And... The clownfish, you have a chance of getting it when you're fishing, and it's pretty much useless. You can't cook it, and if you eat it, you get half hunger bottle. So it's not very good, but I suppose it's better than nothing. Next is the puffer fish, which kind of suck. So when you eat the puffer fish, you only get half, and you get poison and nausea. So as you can see, I'm kind of dying, and the world's spin around pretty bad. Okay. That's pretty good. So I already did that. What am I doing? I have no idea what happened in my family. Well and like nice order and now it's not. So anyway, next is the cookie. And 
to get a cookie, you need a jungle biome because you need cocoa beans. And when you get cocoa beans, if you place them with two wheat, you get eight cookies. And when you eat a cookie, you get 100. So they're actually pretty good and they taste delicious. And then next is the watermelon. And you actually and you get one hungry from it and you actually um, need a jungle biome for this as well because around the jungle biome there will be melons. And when you break the melon you will get melon slices and you can use the melon slices to craft into melon seeds just like that. And then you can grow them yourself but you need a jungle biome. So they're uh, pretty basic as well. And next is wild beef, which you get from killing a cow. And when you eat that, you get one and a half hungers. So that's pretty good. And everything's all messed up again. But then next is steak. And you get that by cooking wild beef. And you get four hunger from it. So it's pretty good. Next is the best food in all of Minecraft. And it is the and to get that, you need buckets of milk, which you craft the buckets by getting all uh, by getting iron, and then you milk the cow. You also need one egg, two sugar, and three wheat. And you'll get the cake. The cake is majestic. So basically, it's one of the most it's the most unique uh, food in all of Minecraft because it's actually a block. You to eat it, you have to place it down. But if you try and mine it, it'll break. And if you break the block under it, it'll also just you and you won't get it back. So be careful with it. But every time you just right click with it, it'll take a little slice away and you'll get one hunger. So basically when you eat the entire thing, there's six slices. So you will get six hungers. And it's really good. Uh, so next is raw chicken. And you get that from killing a chicken. And... Um, it's not the best, it's kind of like a last resort, um, because you only get one, and then you also have a chance of getting hungry, but I already have it, so it doesn't really matter at the moment, but yeah. But if you cook chicken, uh, just by push, putting it in the furnace, you get three hunger, and you don't, uh, you don't get the hunger back, so it's pretty good. Next is rotten flesh, which really is, um, like a last resort, because not only does it taste this nasty, um, I suppose that's actually better. Well, it's about the same as chicken because when you eat it, you get two hungu, but you have a very high chance of getting the hungu effect from it. Once again, I already have it, so you can't tell, but it's there. Next is the spider eye, and that's this bad. I'm actually going to eat a bite of the apple so I can show you what it does more. Um, what the crap? Ah, this is blah, blah. I forgot I was on survival. Could Why you, is this blah? Should be on peaceful. Oh, dang it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> So that sucks. Anyway, um, when you get a spider eye, just to wait for my hunger to run down. So basically, you get a spider eye, there's a chance of dropping it from, you know what, why don't I just switch it today? That's if you right. kill a pig, you don't have a spider. If you know. kill a spider, you will get a spider no, eye. Yeah, no, so when you, if you get eye. poison and you only get one hunger from it, so that's it's pretty bad. Um, Next is, you just, it, you don't get poison for that long, though, so it's actually better than a proxy fish. But next is carrots, and to get a carrot, there's a chance that a zombie might drop it, or you can get it from villages or whatever. But basically, when you eat such carrots, you get one and a half hunger, and it's pretty good. Next is a potato, and when you eat the potato, you get half of a hunger and it's like just like carrots a uh, zombie might drop them or you can get them from a village and if you put a potato in the furnace you'll get a baked potato which does two and a half hunger and yeah baked potato next is the poisonous potato so when you're harvesting potato crops there's a chance you might get this potato you might get
Yay, random cutscenes. Okay, so, um, like I was saying, if you eat, if you harvesting a potato, uh, you might get a poisonous potato instead of a regular one. And if you eat a poisonous potato, it's pretty self-explanatory, you get one hunger, and you get poisoned. It's pretty much self-entailed with the name. Um, next is pumpkin pie, which is, uh, one of my favorite foods other than cake, obviously. Um, and basically, you need to find pumpkins which can spawn uh, randomly in the world. There's some right over there, and they kind of spawn in little patches. And you can marry the wind, and you can use it for food. You can also craft it into seeds, or like just by putting it in the crafting table, you get four. Or you can put it on your head, and not only does it look like this, but you can look at an enderman and it won't attack you. So that's pretty cool. But I like what well, this is about food, so yeah. Um, so yeah, you can just craft it like that. Uh, so you, if you have one sugar cane, which is right over there, and one egg, which is dropped by a chicken, and one pumpkin, you can get a pumpkin pie, which when you eat such pumpkin pie, you get four hunger bars filled, and pretty good. Really good, actually. Next, these five next ones are only in 1.8, so if you're not on 1.8, then this is pretty much going to be useless for you, but I don't know, you might be entertained. Um... Okay, so there are rabbits in 1.8, and they're really cute and adorable and fluffy, and you should never kill them because they're majestic, but if you did kill them or if one died and you were nearby and you couldn't save it or whatever, you will most likely get, you could get like rabbit skin, rabbit foot, but you will most definitely get raw rabbit, and if you eat raw rabbit, you'll get one and a half hunger, so yeah, raw rabbit, not worth it. But if you cook rabbit in a furnace and then eat that, you'll get two and a half. So, still not all that good. Definitely not worth killing a majestic rabbit. But anyway, next is the rabbit stew, which even if you are on 1.8, you're not going to be seeing much of this. Um, because you need rabbit, potato, carrot, and... mushrooms. So, if you get rabbit stew, it'll fill up half your hunger bars, so five hunger bars, and pretty much all it does, it's not worth it, because you need to kill the bunny, which is not cool. But anyway, this one has actually been requested a lot, I've heard, was Minecraft, at least I've been wanting it for a while, but um, it's mutton, and you get that from when you kill a sheep. So sheep finally drop food. And when you eat raw mutton, you get one hunger you get one hunger bar filled, but you don't get the hunger effect, so it's better than raw chicken. And when you eat it cooked, you get three, so it's pretty much just better than chicken because you don't get hunger from it if you eat it raw. So it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um so that's pretty much most of the foods except for sugar cane, which is right here in that will be randomly generated. There's some somewhere I don't know what happened to it, but it'll like be randomly generated throughout the world by any source of water, and it can grow on dirt or sand. And basically, uh, if you like farming it or whatever, if you want to keep it growing, then you can just punch it right here, and you'll get the one you'll get that block and any other above it. But the source block will stay, and it'll grow. And if you want all of it, you can just punch the whole thing. And you can place them on top of each other, but you can place them, like, anywhere directly next to the water. But if you wanted to, say, place it here, or here, or here, you can't. Um, I'm trying to click, but it's not working. Because you can't put, you can, it'll only go directly next to water, unlike, unlike uh, wheat and stuff. So basically, if you if you take your sugar cane and you just put it in the crafting table like that, you can get sugar, which you can use for pumpkin pie, or cake, or anything like that. But you can't actually eat it, nor can you eat raw sugar cane. So just normal sugar cane. So it's pretty useful though. It's good. Um, you can also use it in potions, but I'm not a big potion. Uh, potions confuse me on Minecraft, so I'm kind of just like okay. So, I don't really know what to tell you there, but, um, anyway, that was Minecraft Foods for Noob's Guide to Minecraft. 
And I hope you liked this commentary. And if you did, just like it, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. And just make sure to support us if you liked it. So, uh, we'll be coming out with more of these later along with usual videos. So, thanks for watching. Stay fabulous.